Hey what is up you guys, Gliski here and today we're starting a series that I'm sure people think is oversaturated with content. Well that's what's great about it. It's oversaturated because everyone has their own opinions, making everyone's list different. That's right, we're doing a top 5 video. More specifically, my personal top 5 Kanto Pokemon. I would have done a top 10 but while trying to script this video I realised while I love Generation 1 and the Pokemon that it has, and I'm probably going to get called a Gen 1 because of that. I just have the same level of fondness for a large, large majority of the Gen 1 Pokemon, with a few that stand above the rest. So let's get started. Number 5 is Fero. I bet you're thinking, why would anyone put this on a top 5 list? It, it is even that good of a Pokemon. And to that I say, it's not because this Pokemon is good or bad, it's because of Ho-Oh. As I'm making this video, I'm 20 years old, with Pokemon being released one year before I was born, so when Gold, Silver and Crystal were released, I was still playing Pokemon Red and thinking it had the Generation 2 Pokemon in it. I remember being in the patch of grass at the south end of the bike road, just west of Fisher City and thinking, I could find an infinite amount of Ho-Ohs here as long as I nicknamed them all to Ho-Oh. So Firo is only on here for nostalgia's sake and how stupid I was mistaking an average Pokemon for a legendary one. Number 4 is Omastar, and I'm probably saying that wrong. This Pokemon is only here because wow it is so much fun to use on rain teams. Give it some rad choice specs, have its ability be swift swim, have its nature be modest, and have 252 EVs in special attack and speed, and wow this thing is powerful in the rain because of swift swim and max EVs and IVs in speed, its max speed is 418. And because of max EVs and IVs and choice specs, its max special attack would be 541. That's insane. Pair those with something like Hydro Pump, which is 110 base power, and you have a deadly snail that can take down so much. I've had so much fun using Omastar in Pokemon Showdown in my rain teams. It's just so much fun. Number 3 is Sandshrew. Sandshrew was my first of a shiny. I know it might be hard to believe, but I didn't find a shiny myself until Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where I Masuda methoded a shiny Sandshrew in 656 eggs. Now I've had my fair share of shinies from Trades and the Red Gyarados from Gen 2 games and the remakes, and I remember having a shiny Dialga on Palkia in Generation 4 because of the GTS. But my little Mossroo will always be one of my favourite Pokemon because it was the first shiny I actually owned myself. Since then I've found a few more shinies, but I like shiny Sandshrew because it was my first one. Number 2 is Charmander. I'm a huge Charmander fanboy. That's it really. Not even its evolutions, just Charmander. Although Charmeleon and Charizard are pretty freaking awesome too, but Charmander was my first ever Pokemon and I still have a plush from when I was around 3 years old. I even drilled a hole in a gold bottle cap and tied it a necklace, because in Sun and Moon you can give a man a golden bottle cap and he'll hyper train one of your Pokemon so its IVs will be maxed out. So this is my Charmander plush with max IVs. Number 1 is Nidoqueen. This Pokemon was my MVP of Generation 1 and still to this day I always catch a female Nidoran on Route 2 right before the first gym and have it fully evolved into a Nidoqueen by the second gym. Which wasn't always the best for me because I chose Charmander as my starter. The second gym is Misty, it uses water types. I'd have a ground type and a fire type, both weak against water types. That really doesn't look good on my Pokemon trainer resume, does it? Well, the reason why it was my MVP was because it could learn Thunder, Fire Blast, Blizzard, and Surf, and those were always its moves. It was always in my first slot in the party and it was always level 100 by the time I made it to the Elite Four. I just Thunder and Fire Blast my way through Lorelei, Surf my way through Bruno, use any of my attacks against Agatha, and Blizzard my way through Lance. I don't know what made me like it so much to begin with when I was little, but I always had one. I know for a fact I had one of my first time beating Elite Four in Champion though, and it has always stood out to me as being a, this super powerful Pokemon that could take on anything that stood in my way. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me your top 5 Kanto Pokemon in the comment section below. I just started a Patreon, 
So if you enjoy my content, please help fund my channel to make it even better than it is now. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It just lets me know which videos are liked the most and who wants to see more. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.